for uh, December 29th, low tide, low low of the day, half meter, and um, yeah, my buddy Brent and I are out here. We're gonna have a little look and see what's going on in the, uh, the tidal pools, and uh, see if we can find some gear. Uh, really low tides, so we're hoping like some uh, giant barnacles, maybe some urchins, but uh, we'll keep you posted here and see what we can find. Night forge, pretty excited. dangerous we'll have to keep an eye out for uh, some large swell coming in here but um, you can see already there's all these mussels out here like crazy uh, got some big big clusters of gooseneck barnacles back up there on the rocks but yeah we're gonna go see if we can find some merchants here Some baby urchins here. These guys are too small to take, but uh, closer. Right, just managed to grab a couple, uh, couple here, decent size, inside my hand. Managed to get a Brett got a couple red urchins, a couple purples. I'm gonna throw this little guy. Back. Uh, not one of the ones that size, but yeah, pretty cool. Pretty, uh, pretty crazy night, as you can see. Extra dangerous out on the west side there, but uh, yeah, got what we came looking for. All right, we're back. Um, got some live urchins here. Uh, purple guys, shorter spines, purple obviously. Red guys, red spikes. There's green urchins too, we didn't get any of those. This is the beak. It's your back, the top of it, so they use these beaks to suck onto rocks. And uh, what I like to do, you should probably wear glasses or safety goggles because these spikes can come off and go into your eyes, but just cut around the top with a little like this. And you put it upside down, you can see that's their beak. You get rid of all these little gonads in here simply by kind of shaking it out. And then you can see you get all your nice uh, sea urchin row right in here. This is the kind of stuff that we're uh, that we're after, right there. It's a little messy in there. There she look. Full, very full. Use a spoon, pull the uh, row out. We're just going to uh, line them up on a tray here so they're all ready to go for when we make our sushi. Um, so they have different colors. Commercially, there's different grades of urchin as well. Um, but all this stuff's like super tasty. You can see the milk coming out of it, which is totally normal. Uh, commercial uni is treated, it's dipped in a solution with uh, some preservatives. And we're just kind of forgoing that. You can see the difference between those guys and then this one, a little bit brighter orange. This would be like kind of like a higher grade to get into this color, uh, but it's totally normal that they are all different colors. And you just want to try and break the row sacks, at least not possible. And if you get any of these gonads, we just pull those off like so. And then you got all your uni lined up for making sushi. All right, we're ready to uh, go here. We've got all our sea urchin row. Uh, Brett actually pulled most of it out of the shell. He did a really good job. A little bit of cucumber, some wasabi, and some sushi rice that I cooked yesterday. Um, sushi rice, if it's leftovers, I like to wrap it up. Uh, give it a quick blast in the microwave. We're not getting too fussy. Like I've uh, said before, just use whatever you have on hand. One really important tip with the nori is to toast it. Uh, it would be nice with an open flame, but you know, once again, working with what we have, 
just give it a quick tap uh, on both sides. And what toasting the nori does is it just gives it like a really nice uh, crisp up. I've got some water here. Uh, brings in a little bit of the flavor, uh, but really more importantly, especially when you're doing sushi cones, um, it just gives it a nice crispiness. So I like to put the wasabi right in the cone, more at the top, and a little bit of water just to keep my hands from getting too uh, dirty here with the sushi rice. That's about all the rice that you want. A little bit of cucumber in there. And then the uh, uni you want to be super careful with. I'm going to put a little bit down on the bottom of the cone here. I'm just going to slide it off this vintage plate that we got. A little bit down low. Grab this. Give it the obligatory twist. And then I'm going to um, put quite a bit more of the uni right on top. That's not easy to deal with. And you want to work quickly when you're making these cones. Best to do it just one at a time. Get your guests around at the bar. Um, bit of a struggle here. This one's for Brett, so I'm going to load it up. There you go, bud. Worth the uh, midnight excursion. Yep. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Wild Origins. Uh, check out our website, www.wildorigins.ca. Uh, like, and yeah, check out our store online. Have a good one. We'll see you soon.